Hi guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelves for the weekend of, I have to look all the time, October 27th. Um, I have five books. This is my book haul for the last two weeks. I didn't do one last week because I was on vacation. So I'll just go ahead and get going through them. Um, the first one I got is for review and I got this through NetGalley. And that's uh, Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. Um... Love and Seller wrote Daughter of the Pirate King, which I really enjoyed, that, that duology. Um, I'm excited to read this. I don't believe this comes out till February of next year, so quite a while. But it sounded really good, so it's another young adult like fantasy novel. So I'm very excited to get it for review and read it. Probably be a little bit before I read it, because I try to read them the month before they come out. So, And then I did get two books through Owl Crate, so I bought these, kind of. Um, so if you watch my Owl Crate video, you already saw these. The first one is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Um, again, I was a big fan of uh, Kagawa's Iron Face series and her, that vampire one she did, which I keep blinking, like, every time I have to look it up. Um, Blood of Eden series. Uh, I did not like her talent saga at all. I read, like, half the first book and thought it was awful, so um, hopefully this one will be good. <laughs> The kitten run back there. He got all scared when I like I yanked the shade down and he freaked out. Anyways, Shell the Fox is signed by Julie Tagawa, which is cool. It's got all these extra goodies that I got from Alcrate. So that should be hopefully a good read. And then the next one I got from Alcrate, because there were two books in my Alcrate this month, is Pride by Ibi Zoboy. And I probably said that wrong. Um, this is like a gangster retelling of Pride and Prejudice. Um, I don't know. It's supposedly a like Afro-Latino Pride and Prejudice set in Brooklyn or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Um, it's gotten mixed reviews on Goodreads. Uh, so yeah, it'll be an interesting read, I'm sure. And then I got two from the library. The first one I got from the library, and these were complete like just impulse things from the library. I had been reading a Geek Mom article about some great graphic novels and decided to see if the library had them and they did so I picked them up. The first one is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Um, this is supposed to be a very cute like graphic novel. Um, it looks it looks fun so I'll probably be reading it pretty soon. And then the next one I heard about on Geek Mom was one I thought my son would really enjoy and that is Check Please. Book one of Hashtag Hockey by Ngozi Hukazu. <laughs> um, my son did read this and he liked it a lot, so we'll probably continue, continue getting that series for him. But anyways, we are big into hockey starting this time of year, so I thought he would like it. And that's what I got. So five books. Um, two of these two from the library, The Prince and the Dressmaker, and Check, Please. And then uh, two from All Crate, Pride and Shadow of the Fox. And then uh, one for review, Warrior of the Wild. So pretty good selection of books. I continue to do pretty well on my To Be Read pile. I'm going to say, like, as far as reading books that have been on my To Be Read pile, which is generally considered books from the previous year, um, I have maybe 20 or so of those books, and I haven't been reading a ton of them. I'm um, kind of giving myself a break because total, like, to be read, so including books from last year, like, including books total that I have to read right now, is about 52. So it's down quite a bit. I think I've mentioned a few years ago I had over 300 books on that pile, so I'm very happy that I am getting that under control. Um, I should have that completely read by the end of the year. I have, like, a spreadsheet, and it said that I'll have, like, maybe around 10 books or so. Um, left by the end of the year and I'm getting help from all the cats because they generally eat soon <laughs> this is Sarah's and uh, they want me to feed them because right now my son and husband are hockey practice so yeah anyways um, as for I don't know what's going on here we've been having normal fall weather now so highs in the mid 50s lows in like the upper 30s um, we did get a little bit of snow last Saturday, but that melted by midday, so nothing that stuck, which is nice. Um, we have hockey going on now. My son is joining all these clubs in middle school. He wants to be in the board game club and in the knowledge bowl club and all these clubs, you know, so that's good. They're after school, so it's not a big deal. 
uh, for us. It's not like additional stuff we have to take him to, which is nice. And we kind of told him when we started, he started middle school that he should try to get involved in the middle school somewhat because he never really did in elementary school. He's not like a student council kind of kid. <laughs> and uh, we basically told him that he should pick some clubs to get involved with or we would pick some for him. So he has done that, which is great. It's great to see him getting involved and loving it. So um, yeah, that's fantastic. And I can't believe Halloween is already next Wednesday, which is crazy. I haven't even thought about Halloween. Um, luckily, you know, my son is old enough. He just kind of said, oh, I'm going to wear what I wore last year. <laughs> so he doesn't really care as much. I think he's probably going to go trick-or-treating, but I'm guessing he's probably only got a couple more years. I don't know. He's 11, so I'm not sure at what time kids stop trick-or-treating. I think I trick-or-treated until I was 13 or 14, but I had a little sister I was taking out. So I'm guessing he's getting close to that age where you just don't trick-or-treat anymore. Anyways... Uh, that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys got a lot of great books and that you have a great week of reading ahead of you. And I will talk to you next week probably. I should be around for a couple weeks. Um, we do, we are going to Game Hole Con the second week of November. So that's coming up pretty quick here. And, uh, hopefully do some wonderful like role playing game stuff. We are going to do a LARPing session, which is live action role playing. Um, we've done that before, but we've done it, it was a little bit different. We were playing the monsters in the session, so we got to like beat on the heroes. Um, but this is like an experimental LARPing thing they're trying, and my son saw it and was super excited about it. Um, yeah, normally we don't go to board game conventions to do LARPing, but this will be an adventure for us. So um, I'm excited for that. It's always a fun, it's one of our most fun va family vacations of the year. Um, my son actually said he enjoys going to Game Hole Con and playing board games and doing all this stuff. Even better than the trip we took to Hawaii. So, you know, it's a great time. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Um, happy reading. Bye.